A 27-year-old woman and her housemate have been charged at the Sessions Court for abusing and neglecting a 7-year-old boy. The boy's biological mother, Nirul Asayakin Mohammed Zahir, and Singaporean Awain Chua, 30, were brought to court on Wednesday morning, where the charges were brought against them. Nirul Asayakin was accused of abusing her son, who was placed under her care, leading to his physical injuries in a house in Jalan Waukikik 7, Bonda Leangkosa, Pasar Gudang, from July 1st until August 9th. She was also charged with neglecting the child at the same place and dates. If convicted, one can be fined up to RM 50 000, 14,700 Singapore dollars, jailed up to 20 years, or both. Chua, a factory technician in Singapore, also faces the same two charges. Both women said they understood the charges and pleaded not guilty. Deputy Public Prosecutor Na Diana Zubir offered bail at RM 30 each with one surety, on condition that the accused report to the nearest police station once a month and be prohibited from disturbing the victim and prosecution witnesses. Nero Asayakin had brought her son, who was under the care of her parents in Pocock Sena, Kedar to Jahal Boru. She failed to care for her biological son, which led to his injuries, said DPP Na Diana. Lawyer Abdul Rahim Ali, who represented both accused, asked for a lower bail amount as Nero Asayakin lost her job two months ago and was currently unemployed. She also did not possess a passport. He said Chua had stayed at the same address as Nero Asayakin for more than two years and was not a flight risk. Sessions judge Fatima Zahari granted bail for Nero Asayakin at RM 15. 000 with one shirty and for Chua at RM 20 000 with one Malaysian shirty. They were both ordered to report to the nearest police station once a month and prohibited from disturbing the victim. Chua was in tears when both accused were brought out of court to the lockup. The case gained public attention when videos of neighbors rescuing the victim from the accused went viral on social media. The women were arrested at 12.30 am on Sunday.